Have you ever felt powerless? Was it about an everyday situation, or was it about a large global issue? Either way, the feeling is extremely frustrating. For me, sex trafficking is the issue that made me feel powerless, and I am here to tell you the story of how I overcame that. Sex trafficking is an issue that I first learned about through a movie depicting the horrible reality of this industry. It follows the story of a 14-year-old Nepalese girl called Lakshmi. Lakshmi gets caught on the dangerous web of sex trafficking, where she is trafficked to a brothel in India and raped on a daily basis. Not only that, but she is also beaten by the men and women running the brothel. These children are treated like insignificant objects. They are reduced to nothing, and even if they do manage to escape. Their families refuse to take them back because they represent a shame to the family name. The mere idea of a girl my age, and even younger, having to go through this experience made me sick to my stomach. I began researching the topic, and the more I did, the more frustrated I grew. Did you know that there's 21 million victims of trafficking in the world? Just putting that number into perspective, it represents almost three times the size of the Swiss population. That means that one in every 300 people is trafficked, which is about twice the size of this audience. So half a person here. <laughs> the 150 billion dollars that go into the industry make it one of the top five illegal industries in the world. Yet there is an incredible lack of information about it. This prompted me to reflect on how I could get involved on something on this scale. I kept on asking myself how an industry based on the mere objectification and abuse of people could be so profitable, and how come so little was done about it. Reliable information is incredibly difficult to come across. I have managed to encounter reliable information by, by speaking to professionals in the industry, for example, a psychologist that works with victims. Sex trafficking is an incredibly global issue affecting every single country in the world. Everyone knows that sex trafficking is bad, but the details are foreign to a large majority, as they were to me. As a developed nation, there is an estimated 50,000 to 100,000 victims of sex trafficking in the U.S. alone, a statistic that is likely underreported to begin with due to this very lack of information. This made me realize the relevance of the issue, and thus the need for our generation to address it. The issue is so misunderstood, and I wanted to help people around me understand. As the youth, I have often encountered that there is a lack of platform for us to get involved in world issues, things such as an age restriction and so on. But what if I was to tell you that I overcame this and felt empowered? Well, you may wonder how. The solution is to get involved in something greater than yourself. In order to explore my passion for this topic, I joined a student-led organization at my school. This organization aims to raise awareness about sex trafficking by conducting interactive presentations in various high schools around the world. I am now a co-leader of this organization. Social media is an amazing way to create a platform for the youth to get involved in such issues. This is something we have done, and our personal approach has been through Instagram polls. Although uh, Twitter, Snapchat, etc., are also great means to do to do this. Not only is social media incredibly accessible to us, but it is also incredibly accessible to victims themselves. Social media has revolutionized methods to combat sex trafficking. For example, a journalist called Yusuf Omar. Has conducted interviews with various victims by using Snapchat facial filters, so they can speak up without the fear of losing their anonymity. I am not going to lie and say this has all been easy; quite the opposite, actually. It is important to fully comprehend and appreciate the greater than yourself aspect. Although this may seem obvious, it is something I did not fully realize when embarking in this journey. The underlying effort and time that goes into such movements is immense. 
This means that you may sometimes see yourself questioning whether your efforts are worth it, which is something I have personally felt, and dealing with it has been difficult. However, it is possible. There have been and will be low moments. We have been confronted with the idea that a movement like such is hypocritical and ask what the point of our talk was, that instead of talking about it, we should actually be doing something. However, this made me realize that it is impossible to act on something you know nothing about. Beginning a conversation is, is essential. This is because it is a topic that no one wants to talk about, but everyone should. It is arguably way more important than topics we often discuss. For example, the latest Barcelona versus Madrid match. Once you're there, standing in front of over 100 high school students, speaking of something incredibly sensitive that you're very passionate about, that's when I felt empowered. As the youth, we are the generation that has the advantage to use social media in order to begin meaningful conversations that can be shaped into large movements. Although this experience is larger than any of us, the empowerment that comes along it makes these low moments and efforts worth it. Once you find your passion, taking initiative is essential. And thus, I encourage everyone to take this initiative and feel empowered. Thank you.